Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution, to replace the blower motor in your furnace, First turn off the power to the furnace. Now slide the upper access panel up to detach, followed by the lower panel. Reach in and release the wires from the twist retainer. Disconnect the blower motor and control board wire harnesses. Next. Disconnect the spark igniter wire from the board and detach it from the retainer. Disconnect the black L1 wire and the white neutral wire from the board. Now use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the blower assembly support bracket. Carefully slide the assembly out. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the blower wheel set screw to release the blower wheel from the motor shaft. Note the orientation of the motor in the blower housing. Then use a quarter inch socket or wrench to unthread the motor mounting screws. Carefully pull the old motor out. You're now ready to install the new blower motor. Connect the new motor wires to the appropriate terminals. Secure the wires in the twist retainer. Then insert the motor shaft into the center of the blower wheel and position the new motor on the mounting brackets. Rethread all of the mounting screws to secure. Center the blower wheel in the housing, making sure the flat side of the motor shaft aligns with the set screw. Now tighten the screw. Realign the blower assembly on the support rails and slide it into position. Replace the mounting screws to secure. Feed the L1 and neutral wires through the retainer and reconnect them to the appropriate terminals on the control board. Feed the spark igniter wire through its retainer and reconnect it to the board. Connect the blower motor and control board wire harnesses. Secure the wires in the twist retainer. 
Reinstall the lower access panel first, followed by the upper panel. With the repair completed, turn the power back on and your furnace should be ready for use.